In this video, we are going to review how to create a system image, which is a full and complete backup of your computer using the Backup and Restore tool in Windows 7. If you're using Windows 8 or 8.1, check out the video Creating a System Image Backup in Windows 8. This is the second of three videos in the Backup and Restore using a System Image series. A system image will allow you to completely restore your computer. This includes the Windows operating system, programs, and personal files and folders. Some examples where this may become necessary include when your hard drive dies, a virus badly affects your computer, or files become corrupt and your computer no longer works properly. To create a system image, you will need an external hard drive that is at least as big as the hard drive in your computer, otherwise there may not be enough space. While DVDs are an option, they only store a small amount of data compared to today's hard drives, so your best bet is to use an external hard drive. To begin, connect your external hard drive to your computer. Close any pop-up windows that may appear. Next, click Start, hover over All Programs, go to the Maintenance folder and click it, then click Backup and Restore. If you have not yet created a system repair disk, stop this video and watch Creating a System Repair Disk. If you happen to have a Windows 7 installation disk, that will work as well. Otherwise, let's begin. Click the link Create a System Image on the left. A window will appear asking where do you want to save the backup. A smaller window may appear temporarily that states looking for backup devices. When finished, the external hard drive should appear under On a Hard Disk. If not, try clicking the drop down arrow to see if it is on the list. Once the external hard drive is selected, click Next. If you have more than one hard drive or partition on your computer, a window will appear that asks which drives do you want to include in the backup. Make the appropriate selections and then click Next. The final window before the backup begins asks you to confirm your backup settings. There are messages stating how much space is needed and which drives will be backed up. If a previous backup exists, another message will appear stating that existing system images may be overwritten. If everything is correct, click Start Backup. A window will appear titled Create a System Image and the backup will begin. The backup may take several hours to complete. It is important that you do not perform any other operations on the computer until the backup is complete. If a message appears asking if you want to create a system repair disk, click No. This is assuming, of course, that you have already created one. Once the backup is finished, a message stating the backup completed successfully should appear. Click Close. Close any remaining open windows. If we take a look at the external hard drive, We can see that the backup has been stored in a folder called Windows Image Backup. Double clicking a few times will show a folder with the date of the backup to confirm that the system image backup completed successfully. In this video, we reviewed how to create a system image backup of your computer using the Backup and Restore tool in Windows 7. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.